Okay, case five. All right, so for this one in the low power, we see that like the main feature on this one is the brownish yellowish discoloration in the superficial dermis that's replacing these collagen fibers. Yes. And uh, this is and when we go on maybe in the high power had has these like curvy shape like or banana shape uh structures so this is good for ochronosis yeah what a beautiful example too this is very pretty microscopically like once you've seen this you know what it is right ochronosis you've got these brown banana shaped bundles of um of a, a fiber that have a, a brown pigment deposited on them. And I find that, I, I to my eye, they look like they could either be um, collagen fibers or thickened elastic fibers. Like, see these little squiggly ones? Those are clearly, to me, elastic fibers. The bigger ones, I'm not sure if they're thick elastic fibers. I think some of them seem too thick and are probably collagen. So I feel like both types of fibers can get this brownish orange pigment deposited on them. And there are two different uh, times where you can see ochronosis, right? There is the uh, endogenous form that is um, seen in what condition? Anyone? So we 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 see them either in if it's inherited in alkaptonuria Good. or um, if it's acquired, we can find it on medication like hydroquinine. Yes, very good. Very good. Yes, if you have the inherited form that it comes from the syndrome, then that's alkaptonuria. And that's when people, I believe, it's uh, homogentistic acid oxidase deficiency. And they get uh, pigment buildup. And they also get black urine and some other things, right? So we learned about that in med school. I don't know that I've ever actually seen a real case of alkaptonuria, like inherited form. I feel like we don't encounter ochronosis very often, but when I have seen it in practice, I think it's always been exogenous in my in my uh, experience so far that I've seen. So I don't know um, what the actual incidence of each type is, but I feel like the few cases I've seen have been been um, from uh, uh, the use of hydroquinone. And there may be other drugs that can cause it too, but uh, hydroquinone is the, the one that I always think of. So very good. And so it causes like a pigmentation that can be seen clinically too. And then microscopically, it looks like this. Very distinct. Once you've seen it, you'll recognize it forever. So a perfect example of ochronosis.